everybody welcome to the real world content team uh it's 3 33 p.m and in, in, in on the west coast but it's july 11th uh at 2022 it's a, it's actually a huge huge and victorious day for us because we had our doppel event on friday in soho in new york uh mike aka sensei claus was there creator aka david was there and, and just a, a bunch of the the east coast heroes were there it was a huge deal um so the, their justice for higher action figures now exist and uh, people are going to be able to get their hands on them uh, very, very soon. So it's it's a huge deal. And now we have Comic Con coming up next week, and I'm very, very thirsty because I just got off an hour call with uh, our new partner Bernie Bregman. Who, uh, if you if you don't know Bernie, um, uh, like you probably know Bernie if you even if you don't know Bernie, Bernie, because he does all the Comic Comic Con like cosplay parties. And uh, Real World is now a partner with Bernie and his um, his. His production company and we are uh, we have two we have three events next week two of which are parties in san diego comic-con and guru aka z i totally need your help <laughs> for this next week yes sir i have a, a, a seven-year-old with me <laughs> i gotta figure out how we can have a presence there um so like uh, just just to i mean I, of course i want to talk about our, our 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 regular content team uh conversations but but just prioritizing comic-con for next week i'm very in, uh th this is what's going on wednesday the 20th we have uh wednesday and friday we have the 20th and the 22nd we have parties starting at 8 p.m one of which is at a place called park p-a-r-q um if you go to their website that they, they do lots of uh, major events for artists uh, then the other one is, um, and that's the Thor party. That's the Thor Ragnarok um, cosplay party. And uh, Friday is the Tim Burton um, Beetlejuice uh, themed party. And so Real World will have a presence as a, as a partner um, at each one of them. And we'll have our own space at these parties to uh, promote real world, et cetera. Like uh, Bernie will, will bring me on to just speak to the audience for uh, a short amount of time, uh, like you know maybe a minute and just let them know what we're doing. And I'll direct everybody to come to our space in the party and, and uh, we'll likely give away um, de a development deal, a development and production deal there. And, and I wanna clarify so that everyone understands what, what this means. Cause that when we say $10,000 development and production deal, that doesn't mean we're giving somebody $10,000. What that means is that we're giving them, you know, $10,000 plus of value. And that value means like our time is calculated into that, our like creative efforts. Um, and then eventually post-funding, that would also mean these, these would be activated um, like pre-funding when it comes to development services, because that's really time. And then post-funding when it comes to production services. So the production services are essentially us saying, hey, we're going to put you into an episode of, into maybe your own episode of Justice for Hire in front of, of um, you know, per, a pro camera team, et cetera. Um, so these development and production deals, like the, the, I would calculate them at like a $10,000, um, uh, you know, value at the very least. Uh, and, and we could calculate it for more, but I think, you know, I just want to stay realistic with people. Um, and yeah, so we're going to offer those every night at Comic-Con. We'll probably do one on Thursday, one on, one on Wednesday, one on Friday, and maybe three uh, uh, at, at the San Diego uh, Comic-Con Superhero Kung Fu Extravaganza, which is Thursday. So Thursday is our Comic-Con event officially, and then Wednesday and Friday are parties. And Guru, I'm not sure what your plans were. If you were going to be in town, if you're not, and that I totally oh, understand. I will. I'm there. I'm I'm going to be uh, probably either leaving super late slash early in the morning, um, the night of the 19th. Oh, wow. I have to check into my hotel. On oh, okay. So, you're, so you're, you're, you're prepared. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the ticket said it was for all the days. So I'm Yeah. Like, you, oh, you have okay. a, pro, a pro badge. You you and your partner have a pro badge. So, yeah, so you guys are good you. at it uh wednesday wednesday is the pro day which is my favorite day because it's before the crowd like the public hell isn't yeah. allowed in hell yeah and it's just awesome it's like you get to walk around the entire the entire space and just like kind of breathe it in before everybody before the heathens come <laughs> 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 talk about the wonderful people of comic-con kidding of um, course <laughs> so so yeah that, that's a 
Uh, we, we actually may leave early on Wednesday too, just to, to get a little bit of, of a taste of that. Sound check at the party is going to be 6 p.m. Um, okay. But I mean, they'll be there all day. Uh, and the con closes, I think the pro day ends at 5 p.m., if I remember correctly. They, they start pro day late and they end it early. So it's a really, really kind of easy day. Oh, and there's okay. a lot of time um, just to kind of move around like Sandy. So, okay. Um, so, dude, I mean, it would be amazing if, if like, the it's a, the Wednesday, Bernie described it as a rager. Uh, oh. And so, and I will send you, like, you know, like, I, I, I want to go early just to be able to be like, hey, you know, yeah. like, here's what we're doing. <laughs> then, like, yeah, it, it's even appropriate for my son. Like, otherwise, I just won't even bring him in. And, but, uh, but hopefully... <laughs> Uh, I mean, I've, I've, I've been a part of, you know, many Comic-Con parties that I'm, I'm that most of the folks at Comic-Con know me because of parties. Um, oh, that, so like, that's um, like, they, they know all the other stuff, but that came after knowing me from, from parties. So like, like I, I would never really consider a Comic-Con party like completely inappropriate. They're mostly just very industry, but they're also like, well, yeah, no, totally. But it's, it's still like a, a celebration. Yeah, it's, of it's, course. it's a total celebration. A celebration of life <laughs> with that voice. Celebration. <laughs> well, uh, celebration. Finally, uh, <laughs> we'll have likely more of a, a of a celebrity pack kind of event where they're going to bring a bunch of folks in from like Walking Dead and from Teen Titans and um, and other stuff. And, and Bernie's going to uh, do his best to get a uh, get some real world shout outs from directly from them. Um, so and uh, yeah, I can't wait. Cool. So so Bernie's like like we're we're just. Uh, there's a, there's, I'm so behind on everything because of what I told you guys about tomorrow. Like just in general, I'm just like so behind. Um, but it's, I'm happy that everyone's being understanding. But so like Bernie is definitively coming on at, like as a real world partner. And so um, it's, and like we are, we are being positioned as a partner in their uh, events ecosystem throughout the year and into next year. So there's going to be a lot of stuff. Um, this is, you know, and it really started on Friday with Doppel. There's just more, um, uh, more pieces have been brought in to amplify our message. So we're in a good space. Uh, but Guru, you and I can sync offline um, about, about the details for next week because there's a bunch of stuff that they need from, from me personally today in terms of uh, I need to organize a bunch of graphics and potentially put together like uh, two videos for them within the next okay. few hours. Um, yeah, fabulous. So, um, but I, I, yeah, I would love to sync with you on that. And I, I you know, I, 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 I want to uh, touch on on like the weekly content stuff. And, and um, you know, I, I wanna make sure that the, uh, since we shifted to the Nike narrative um, and it, I feel like we're, I wanna make sure that we are always being like productive and actually always, uh, uh, you know, putting content out even if it's just a challenge in the app, et cetera. Um, and I have not been uh, over the last week or so uh, as aware of what's what's happening simply in terms of bandwidth. Um, but I did have a concern that we would get derailed if we didn't, you know, uh, uh, set it a, a firm date and actually hit that date with shooting the Nike content. And of course, like I said, on my side, I just uh, like I am, I'm, I won't even be able to shoot anything. I thought I was going to be able to shoot this past weekend in New York. And we brought all the gear out there for it. And I was just like too exhausted uh, from very, very little sleep um, going through the, this whole weekend. So uh, I just want to address that and find out like how you guys are feeling uh, with like, if there's any big content that's been produced that I might've missed, um, what you guys, what you're thinking about in terms of content, et cetera. So, so let's, let's jump onto the content conversation. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, nothing as far as content. I know I I've been playing catch up since not being uh, available. Um, so I've just kind of been like playing catch up with literally everything in my life. Um, and my my original ninja has um, injured himself, so I am finding a replacement. Um, and so that we can go over the choreography that was made and then so that there can be something filmed um so i could just kind of knock that all out in like one 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 sitting but um as far as that um i i kind of ag agree we should be doing you know like a challenge or something here and there um uh just to kind of keep the app kind of moving um but yeah 
Awesome. Okay, so so I mean, I, I I appreciate that. Thank you for sharing that too. So, um, yeah, I, I want I, I I like this I like the script a lot. I think that 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 everything that's in there. I'm interested in in uh, Sensei Mike. What what are, you, what are you thinking in terms of how has your experience been um, planning for or shooting et cetera uh, for the Nike script that we currently have? Like, what's your what's been your experience so far? So the main hassle has just been getting people to shoot with that. A few that fell through, and. Uh, it's like I think I said last time, I'm figuring for the moment, I'm just going to wind up soloing it, which, especially given the way that Guru wrote the shot list, I'm going to, this is going to sound goofy, try for almost a horror angle, where I, you get, you know, Guru, you know the shot list, you wrote it, Jan, I don't know if you read it, but uh, yeah, yeah. the way he wrote it gave me kind of a predatory vibe. Like if the ninja was in the haunted house, Sensei Claus is the monster. So I was thinking, as goofy as it is, that's kind of how I'll try to shoot it because even though I prefer to do action, that's kind of a pain in the neck to do solo where something, you know, slower paced, more subtle, might be easier to shoot if I'm just playing both roles. Oh, yeah, totally. And yes, uh, you're correct. I mean, I did write it in as, as, you know, it is goofy, but it is in like a style of like a, a horror movie almost um, of like, like you know, sensei so strong and badass. That like, oh, somebody's going to try and, and, and come and attack him while he's already one step ahead of them. And he's, he's getting the job done. So yeah, no, and I was thinking that in mind of like you having limited people with you. That's why I was like, I was trying to, you know, like I, it, there's room for like adaptation for how you want to like be able to do the um, playing both roles, but yeah. So, so uh, Guru, I, I, I mean, uh, uh, Sensei, I totally, um, I, I totally agree too. I, I, I think that horror is actually the, the right, it could still be action. And the reason I just sent you this Steven Spielberg Master of Horror um, video on YouTube in the chat is because of how uh, Spielberg utilizes horror techniques a lot in all of his genres, um, all the genres that he, he creates film, uh, uh, he addresses in film. So I, I highly recommend watching that video to get some ideas on camera work and building suspense um, with, with minimalism. And there's a, I'm, I'm looking for the Batman Begins scene, um, first appearance. Uh, in the Batman Begins, here we go. Uh, I'll send you the first, Batman's first appearance in Batman Begins is very much like a horror film. And I'm just sending you this because I think that there's, a, a, there's a, I think horror is actually a great way for you to be able to showcase the horror camera work and pacing is a great way for you to showcase um, your comedy uh, and and also your martial arts skills, uh, because whatever you know, thinking about Jackie Chan's spiritual kung fu, for example, like you know, you could be uh, jumping over stuff and flipping through things, um, and, you know, if, if your weights, etc., like spinning around doors. Um, it, but also like hiding from somebody or running from somebody or running after somebody. Um, I think that there's just a lot of room there for that. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of room there for that. So I, I just sent you those two and, and there's, I'm always happy to send more. Um, I think there's, there's definitely more stuff that, that, uh, can be, can be helpful, um, when it comes to you. Uh, and, but again, you know, the shot list I shot a test of of what uh, of the scene of of my scene in the Nike footage. I shot it with my son who who would play the ninja because I'm like I don't have an, a, another ninja with me right now. <laughs> and so he was playing a little ninja. It was great. And um, and we shot the whole thing in one shot. And I really wasn't happy with it because it was it was it's totally usable. It's totally good. I was actually just watching. I forgot the name of this crew, but they did a uh, when when you know Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. 
like one of the first videos that came out reaction videos was from this this youtube comedy crew and it's, it's a guy screaming about how he wants uh uh he like he was looking for Jaden. he was pretending to be chris rock he's like i'll fight Jaden, and it was he's like Jaden, and it was it was really really funny i'm getting you the name of the, the crew right now uh rdc world one that's them um and they do a lot of, of skits, live action skits about video games and anime and, and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but one of the things that I, I was literally watching one of their skits while I was eating lunch today, which I rarely do. I rarely watch stuff while I eat because it's kind of bad for your digestion. But uh, today I was like, man, I haven't seen something in a long time. So what I'm getting at is that they do things in one shot a lot of times. They do their improv. They'll improv a scene, loose script, do it all in one shot. And it really works for them. However, um, it's, it is, uh, it is also indicative of the sophistication of their use of the language of cinema. And so it's, it, they're, they're not expert filmmakers. They don't necessarily know how to direct camera, um, with precision. And I feel like this Nike thing should be an example of us doing a better job, uh, like, uh, like a more intentional job of camera work, um, for, for each one of us as a team. I think that's the thing that's going to um, move the dial for a brand. It's like, oh, okay, wow. They all, you know, they're, they're, they're all from all around the, the country and they all put this together, but it's also very, very intentional. And Guru, you wrote a, a, a very intentional shot list. So me doing it in one shot was all only my intent. My only intention there was to get the action down. But uh, because I did it in one shot, I almost felt like, oh, this is good enough. And I was like, hold on for a second. <laughs> this is definitely not. <laughs> you know? um, and so I, I do want to put more thought into it. Uh, or should I say, uh, uh, put the discipline. That's not more thought. It's the discipline of, of, of camera technique. And uh, meaning that it is framed specifically for one intention. You do that intention and you move on to the next shot. So... Um, yeah, to, to have the bandwidth for that, it's going to have to wait for after Comic-Con for me. Um, but that being said, um, yeah, let, let's let's bring back the weekly, you know, any anything you can do in the app, any challenge, any mission, um, let's just crank that. Please crank one of those out um, in the app and post one of the, the same thing on, on social. So I'm, in other words, like shoot it on your phone and then post it to the app, post it on social um, and, and tag Justice Fire, et cetera. So we can keep on showing people that, that the creative community, uh, that, that there's constant you know, regular creative content being put out for JFH. Uh, All right. So, <laughs> so I was just <clears throat> making sure I was on, you know, off mute. I've always got sirens back here around now, so I mute a lot. But uh, Yeah, I mean, there are always some more challenges, and uh, I think one thing we should do during these calls is make a new challenge, like uh, maybe once or twice a month, just so there are fresh things on there. Mm, it's a great idea. Because, you know, it's pretty easy to make one. Uh, I made one maybe a month ago, but that was mostly just that, you know, as an app video. So that's something else to make videos showing the app. But uh, yeah, for now, I think we could, you know, do some challenges that already exist, but also maybe come up with a couple. I mean, you've come up with a bunch. So, you know, it wouldn't be that hard for me or your creator to think of a few too. That'd be awesome. Uh, I, I, yeah, even if that's one, if, if, if you want to create a challenge for the week, I think that's great too. Um, and and that, that works out for me. And, and Guru, is, you, is, your, is your bandwidth back to a place where you can produce something for a week? Or is that, is, it's, I mean, it's fine if it's, if it's not as well. I want to be a sense of not, not until after Comic-Con. And okay. it's going to be, I have short windows. So I'll, like, I'll be able to create small things if I can write them, plan them and work them. Uh, in a way where uh, it, it, it still is at the quality I would like. Um, I don't. I don't like. Um, uh, what are you sacrificing quality for for quantity? You know. Um, so yeah. So 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 after Comic Con, I'll be able to do a little bit more. Okay. Than um, what I'm able to do right now. 
Okay, sounds good. So, 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 Sensei, it, it seems like for this week, uh, in terms of a content creation from co a content creation standpoint, um, it, it, it might it might just be you, and and, and so, it, you know, it, it's it's heavy as a cross <laughs> on the shoulders. <laughs> I, I like oh. content is easy to make, you know, that's part of why I designed the character. You know, it's pretty straightforward. You don't have, like, say, uh, if you look at Vintage's content, he's basically just himself. He doesn't have a gimmick or a hook like I do. So it's a much more difficult approach. You know, it's like if you go on to, oh, hey, David's here. Hey, David. But I know. if you ever waste your time on Instagram, hey, hey. you notice there's always something like somebody's shirtless or there's some kind of stupid pose or something. You're going through there and you realize these people are basically trying to scream at the top of their lungs to get your attention. And, uh, you know, creating a character is how I do that. The way some people do without something like that, it's much more difficult. So just circling back, Sensei Plus type content is a lot easier to make. You know, I've never had any big numbers done on that Instagram account. But stuff still gets traction for very simple things. You know, I find people watching these reels weeks later. And not a lot, but considering the production time put into these, and you know how the account is kind of mixed up between certain factors. It's easy to optimize. I'm, I'm just taking a look at your. Yeah, uh, I, I, I actually think you hit some significant numbers on on, on a few of your reels. I remember, I remember saying that. Uh, yeah, six thousand seven hundred thirty-five is pretty good. <laughs> Four thousand three hundred forty. 7,220, 15,007. Hey, man, no, you're doing great, some good numbers. <laughs> I would say it's the low engagement, though. Reels are, are funny where they're kind of like uh, Instagram pretending to be TikTok, where don't get me wrong, I'll take what I've got, but at a certain point, I need to. An online marketing is a term called a conversion rate, which applies to any marketing where if you have a store and you have great location, great foot traffic, but your prices are all too high, no one buys anything. So you have a low conversion rate. You have a lot of customers, but no buyers, or you have you know, a lot of potential customers, no actual customers. So that's where I'm at right now is I need to, if I want that account to have, don't mind, the character is one thing, but the account is something different. If I want that account to have actionable value, I'm going to have to start converting some of these people watching the reels into followers and such. So that's uh, my puzzle for the next, I don't know, month or whatever. Kind of see how that goes. Well, that, that's, I, I use the term conversion rate for so many things in my life. I'm like, huh, the conversion rate between thought, word, and deed. <laughs> you, know? Um, you know, so I think that's, 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 that's awesome, man. Well, I mean, uh, David, just to catch you up, uh, we, we, you know, obviously big, big, big success this past Friday with Doppel. Thank you again for being there and, uh, and, and, and being both, both you and Sensei with, with, with in full gear, which is great. Um, uh, actually I have some, the, the photos, if you guys haven't checked them out yet on online, I shared it a few days ago. Yeah, I should I think it was yesterday, day four. Um, and, uh, for, for this week, uh, we're, we're bringing back the, the weekly content um, pro content production. So whether you take on a challenge or you make a challenge or you take on a mission, et cetera, um, you know, please do, do that and just share it on the, uh, on both the app and on social, but, but the, uh, Guru and I, uh, Z and I are, are going to be offline in, in terms of that type of, uh, um, you know, weekly contribution of any sort, video contribution will be offline at least for until after San Diego Comic-Con next week. Cause we have three, events, uh, JFH real world events next week at Comic-Con. So we're, uh, uh, you know, there's some heavy prep that needs to be done there. Um, aside from that, uh, this Thursday, I, for our thunderclap, 
uh, likely should be something promoting what's happening next week at Comic-Con. Uh, so I'll send out something. I'm not sure what that's going to be. And plus, we still have a whole bunch of, of content from this past weekend um, from the Doppel event that needs to be promoted as well, that needs to be shared as well. So um, lots and lots and lots of content. content. And uh, the need to premiere something at, at the Superhero Kung Fu Extravaganza. So my intent is to cut a really dope trailer for that. Uh, but we'll see if that happens for, for um, or what kind of trailer gets cut. Not if, it has to get happen. Uh, but we'll see what happens for next Thursday. So I'll, I'll, I'll share something for us to thunderclap um, within the next, probably by Wednesday, because I will be completely offline tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it. If, if anybody has any thoughts, ideas, et cetera, um, please, please share it or any ways to, to make this more efficient and better of, a, uh, of, a, of our process on these calls or on the, the overall system, let me know. Please voice. All right. Well, I, it, 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 then it seems like um, Z, you and I, let's, let's sync this week. Um, if not tonight, then on, on, on Wednesday uh, regarding Comic-Con next week. And yes. Um, and thank you guys as usual. I'm like, this is, but we're really in a new chapter right now. Like things have, have uh, like Friday really marked uh, a ma massive level up for us as a, as a team, as a community um, and, and more. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, we, the, the Comic-Con is going to take this, this season to another level. And then, uh, you know, it's, uh, we, we, we have a really, really nice year mapped out. Uh, our, our, our New York event on November 4th is also already, um, getting traction and I, I actually have to bring this back one more thing before i forget august 20th is the deadline for the um urban action showcase um submission and i would like each one of you guys to submit your own action scene remake of any sort um for the competition because we i was going to ask if that was still on it's still on and we just haven't been promoting it and, you know, I'm, and, and, and maybe, you know, may, maybe the thing to do, and, and Mike, I'm, I'm really interested in your thoughts, David, you too. Um, maybe the thing to do is rather than make, making content for the app, just to show that there's stuff being made on the app, maybe it is somehow promoting that event. Um, maybe our heroes individually taking on the challenge. Yeah, I mean, I think that, 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 <laughs> That challenge is, which is a contest, is remake one of the five scenes that are presented there, which is from some, five, remake a scene in your own way with your own character from one of the five films presented, which is Avengers, Batman, uh, no, Dark Knight Rises, Transporter, uh, and uh, uh, Sensei, you already did a, a, a kind of like a trailer. Um, like a like a, a trailer piece for the uh, five deadly venoms, um, but so I, I would oh, four I would, of them. Say it again. Four of the five. Like I said, the scorpion one. I just couldn't make that work. So, um, so lo, lo, let me ask you questions, uh, so Mike. Would you consider your would, would, did, was your intention to to share that for for the trailer, or was your intention to share that as this is your scene submission? for the competition? Either or. I mean, as it is, we can always use more content and I still have access to that basement if I wanted to do something like that again. And of the selections, that's still by far my favorite. Some of the others are good too. I just got a very personal connection to that one. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of indifferent. If we need more content, I can figure out something else to do. Eh, probably, <laughs> I would probably do because, uh, I mean, I don't want to hold uh, Dave and Z hostage to this conversation, but what I would probably do is do some kind of cheesy thing where I just flip the camera 90 degrees and 
try and recreate a bunch of the whole walking on the walls and stealing type scenes because uh, oh, that's great. But you know, really obviously fake it. That's hilarious. That's great. Um, well, dude, I mean, I, I, I would love to see that. Uh, you know, I love those little applause from 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 uh, Z that he's put up. Um, yeah, it's because it, when those the one that turns out to be the good Venom is the lizard in that movie, and yeah, Z, David, sorry if you haven't seen that's a a spoiler, but the movie's still worth watching. There are these five guys with fantastical kung fu styles. One is the lizard, and he can walk on walls. And turns out he's the one that's not a murdering jerk. Probably okay too. But uh, anyway, sorry. Back to you, Jan. No, this is uh, this is this is this is great. I think that that we need to, and I'm interested in, in your guys' thoughts because I don't want to uh, I don't want to confuse uh, any of the energy here um, because uh, like. You know, an August twentieth deadline is a hard deadline. We don't have a hard deadline with the with the Nike like spec commercial, um, like totally. you know, and our baseline of you know produce produce a, a challenge you know once a week or some some form of content once a week and post it, like that's that's like a baseline. So I would say that above the baseline is the Nike thing because if you can shoot that instead of the content, that's great. Uh, but of course, the Nike thing requires more uh, narrative. Uh, uh, an intentional uh, visual planning. So and then at the very top of the list should be whatever we have on a deadline. Um, and, and that August 20th deadline is, you know, a month and, and, and uh, nine days away. So I do think it's valuable for us to, excuse me, uh, to, to, to prioritize uh, the recreation of, one, of, of a scene from any one of you guys. Like, so. Um, Agreed. Uh, you know, uh, Guru, whatever, whatever you're thinking. I mean, and again, we're going to be live in Times Square. We'll have a, a, a panel of celebrity judges yet to be announced. Um, and, and, and we'll have space in the theater. We'll have our whole, like, it's literally our own thing. And like, we just need to make sure that, that, the, that the content we produce, ideally, if, if it's August 20th, we it's should, quality. The, the content that we have should probably be done by August 1st. And what I mean by that is that we need to give the, the community, we need to give them a final push and a final push of saying, hey, look at what Z has done. Look at what like Creator has done. Uh, look at what Sensei Claus has done. You should submit scenes also. Like hurry up and do this because you have 20 days left. And you know, I don't know what day the, tw- uh, the, the first is, but... Um, checking it right now but what i'm getting at is just the the importance of of us leading by example it's a monday it's a monday okay well well what do you what do you guys think about that what do you guys think about monday august 1st having some form of of scene recreation um ready so that we can distribute it that week and um you know get get folks amped to 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 submit personally me i think it would be um I, I would have to like take the focus and the energy and everything that I would be putting towards maybe doing the, the baseline and everything and put it all towards that. Um, especially with like getting stuff and shifting from taking the energy that I was putting towards the Nike things as well um, that I was going to do after Comic-Con, but yeah, totally. So yeah, like I can, I can, I can, shit, I can do it. <laughs> okay. So, so, so you can commit to an August 1st delivery how about yeah. Sensei? How about da- David? I would say shoot for it. Uh, so at the moment, we'll figure we have a few things in the pipeline. And yeah, I'll have another look at some of the scenes from that and uh, see if I'm creating them. I might do something really goofy like. Uh, you know, you've seen I've been using Video Leap to mix in more than one Sensei clause kind of awkwardly, but I think I can get away with that as long as it's still funny. So I might be doing something like that here and there. 
Again, okay. just have to see how it plays. There are a lot of ideas that. Oh, bye, David. Bye bye. A lot of ideas that I might bring up here that I might not might not actually do because you can't know if something works until it actually, you know, until you actually try it. Okay. But All right. I definitely like the idea of ripping up the lizard thing of deadly venoms because that's a. You know, that, that's just fun. That's a kung fu movie that was not afraid to be fantastical and ridiculous. And own it. Okay, well, I mean, so, so yes, the, 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 that, 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 sounds like a, that sounds like a yes, right, Mike? So, well, like, like, yes, you're good for an August 1st delivery of, of whatever you would, you would pull from the, that film? Yeah, like I was saying, if we already have that first uh, pseudo-trailer reshot, I would go for... Uh, remaking some of the lizard style training just because that's just so fun and weird okay and then maybe it all it can all cut together with a nice voiceover <laughs> well i would say just as being two different projects you know content okay. for content sake okay because the different start phases of the movie okay uh, again i don't want to hold z hostage for reminiscing about a movie i like but uh you know uh, th th this this sounds great man so let, let's Let's go for August first. I, I am I again with with I, I want to just make sure that that I that, that we're clearly defined like the different like um, uh, like, like in the pipeline. And so so just to, based on what Guru said, like when it comes to baseline video content, like if we have something that's that's like super high priority, like this where it has a hard deadline, then like if if you can't for whatever reason. Um, like split your attention between the two, like our baseline and the high priority, like just only focus. It, it is totally the right thing to do to just focus on, on the high priority. It's like, Hey, if the, if the only thing you can do between now and August 1st is get done the thing that needs to be done by for August 1st, so that we can uh, shoot it, fire it out for, for the community. So people know to, to submit. Cause we need to, um, we need to show up with more promotional content for that then yeah. that's totally fine and totally understandable and, and, and please go for that if for some reason you have the bandwidth to do both um you know please post something to the app and, and share it on social and tag everybody that's great but if if it's a, a matter of you choosing between that and and getting the highest quality thing done for august 1st please choose the highest quality thing done for august 1st um i think in general we should it's, that should always be our 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 uh, understanding of like whatever the, the high priority thing is and the mid priority right now is the nike thing because um you know that's 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 awesome but again um us being able to get that done um it, it, it's it's super valuable uh, but uh, you know and, and we should do it but we should do it after after a deadline kind of thing um so uh, and and just so you guys know it last last year uh, I put in my uh, fight scene with my son, uh, the soccer fight scene for the uh, extravaganza. I, but I'm not 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 the extravaganza for for the Warner Media experience. Um, I'm not sure if that was screened or not during the. I don't think it was during the panel that we did, the virtual panel that we did. Uh, and that's because it's somewhat of a conflict of interest. It was. Yeah. Okay. It, it was screened, but it wasn't considered like in the running. Um, so the stuff that you guys would, would create would be considered in the running. Um, so like, I, I just want you guys to keep that in mind because I want to make sure that, that, um, that, you know, uh, what, what we're presenting to the, to the panelists, um, you know, is obviously of the highest quality. Like that's, that's part of the reason why I would, uh, I may or may not get something done by August 1st because there's a, a bunch of priorities here and it is, you know, it doesn't really move the dial for us as a team for me to have something done there. Um, what what moves the dial is me cutting together some, uh, you know, some great promo to let people know, like, hey, hurry up and and uh, submit stuff. So um, agreed and noted. <laughs> um, so so yeah, guys, like, please, like, you know, go hard on that. So we, so we made a shift from the earlier conversations. Please go hard on that for August first, and I'll still send you a thunderclap for next week for Comic Con's events. And um, and the, the thank you guys, as usual. Thank you, brother. All right, love you guys. Have a great, great night. Thank you. Okay, talk soon. Bye. Talk soon. Bye.